Megan, you said it's going to be a little bit cooler it this is. week. Yes, yeah, so and we have a cold front headed our way during the second half of the day today, yes. during the evening. Temperatures are in the 80s. Oh, Monday that sounds and unheard Tuesday. of. Yeah. So exciting. Uh, but we do start our week with some storms overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. And we actually started the, the morning this morning with storms. If you were to the northeast of the metro, uh, the Grand Lake area had some strong storms move through this morning. Taking a live look here from our Jinx camera, lots of cloud cover still blanketing the area. Temperatures are in the 70s. And we've got a slight east wind, very calm though, with a dew point at 73 so it's muggy out the door with humidity at 91 percent temperatures all across the area in the 70s some low 80s though already across the area here's that one severe storm that we had moved through the prior in the Shoto area this morning that cluster of thunderstorms is out of the area but we do have a couple lingering showers that have been trying to move into the area from central Oklahoma as these track east they continue moving apart but I wouldn't be surprised if you run into a sprinkle or two if you're on the west side of the metro and even into the metro here over the next several hours. Otherwise, rain chances are pretty much slim to none as we head into the second half of the day today. Temperatures all across the area, upper 70s, some low 80s to the south of the metro, low 70s to the north. And we will have heat advisories in effect for the day today and even some excessive heat warnings if you're to the south of the metro. As we head into this afternoon, heat index values going to be 105 to 110 for the counties in yellow and 110 plus for the counties in purple. So once again today going to be dealing with some heat. Yesterday we didn't warm up quite as much as anticipated due to the cloud cover from yesterday's storms. This morning we should lose the cloud cover as we head into the next several hours. If we don't that will limit our, our temperature later today some. But regardless we'll be in the mid 80s by lunchtime. A mix of sun and clouds, especially as we head into the afternoon, we'll have more sunshine, which will provide more fuel for overnight storms. Temperature is going to top out today in the upper 90s to the south of the metro, low 90s to the north if we do reach that maximum daytime heating as anticipated. Here comes our second potential for storms for the day today and into early Monday morning. Storms moving in from western Oklahoma and central Oklahoma, and a few of these we'll be keeping an eye on for strong to severe storm potential mainly from the metro and to the north but it couldn't rule out a severe storm down to the south of the metro here's the latest model guidance we'll be looking at a wind and a hail potential and there'll be an isolated tornado threat especially for our southeastern kansas counties and our far northeastern viewing area monday morning we do have some lingering showers and thunderstorms with temperatures in the upper 60s low 70s and check this out by the time that cool front moves in the north wind bringing in drier cooler air, we've got temperatures in the 80s, low to mid 80s for your Monday when our normal high is 94. A big win there. Once again, here's our storm zone for tonight. A slight severe weather risk, including the metro into the north. And then in our far, far northeastern viewing area, we are included in that little higher end moderate severe weather risk. So we'll be keeping an eye from about 10 p.m. through about 4 to 5 a.m. for a severe storm, strong to severe storms across the area with lingering showers and thunderstorms. Temperature stay below average through Wednesday and then we do begin heating back up as we head into this next week but regardless check this out three days in the 80s in August what a win there